and my question is to the Deputy Prime Minister. Can the Deputy Prime Minister advise the House that following the government's $5 billion order for nuclear reactors from Rolls-Royce, that our submariners are safe in the submarines with the nuclear reactor? Give a call to the order, the member for Herbert. Give a call to the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister for Defence. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Mr Speaker, and I thank the Leader of the I'll Opposition like for, there, for his sneaky gotcha <laughs> question uh, about the nuclear reactors that were being uh, constructed at Rolls-Royce in Derby. Can I just say uh, we're talking about sealed nuclear reactors that will never be refuelled, that are of the size Order. to power Order. one machine, that are not designed to power Order. cities, that will need to be disposed of for the first occasion in the early 2050s, where those opposite are talking about establishing a civil nuclear industry which, if it should have any impact Order. on the emissions the reduction, will need to be operating in the 2030s with all the attendant disposal associated with that. But let me make one other point. Mali. Yes, the, the nuclear reactors will be safe for both the submariners, as they will for those who are at Order HMAS the... Stirling. Why? Order. Because we are spending an enormous amount of money to make sure that they are secure. Now, if you if you take Order that the, amount of money the Deputy Prime and apply the Deputy Prime it to all the, new... the, the the Deputy Prime Minister will pause. I appreciate the energy, the energy regarding this question, but I need to hear the answer. I, I, I literally can't hear anything. So, it would assist the House if members could tone it down. The member for O'Connor. The minister is halfway through, and I want to hear the remainder of his answer. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. If you take the Order. cost that is member being spent to ensure the safety of those uh, reactors in the nuclear-powered submarines, and you apply that cost to civil nuclear reactors, which those opposite are suggesting, Order. what you end up with is the single most expensive source of power that can be purchased in the world in this country today. And that, that is what those opposite are seeking to put before the Australian people. The idea that you would try and draw some equivalence between small nuclear reactors, which are powering a single machine, with what those operatives Order. are trying to suggest about nuclear reactors which are designed to power cities Order. is patently ridiculous, and it's the kind of analysis which underpins the ridiculous thought that those opposite are trying to put on the Australian people.